Pray and supplication be my preparation. Pray and supplication be my preparation. Pray and supplication be my preparation. My preparation. My separation from the world. Pray and supplication. Separation from the world. Pray and supplication. Separation from the world. Pray and supplication for the preparation. Reparation and reparation. This is war. Reparation. This is war. So preparation. Why? This is war. So preparation and supplication. Why? This is war. <laughs> Mommy, take the Bible and open it to wherever. I'm going to wait for my command. <laughs> One, two, three, Django. Read one chapter there. The Lord now chose 72 other disciples and sent them ahead in pairs to all the towns and places he planned to visit. Okay. Now, what is 72 divided by 2? 36, eh? That's 36. So he planned... To go to 36 cities and towns. Do you know how much work, hard working that is? He's planning to go to 36 towns. That means it's all over the show. And that means he's a hard worker. And he walks. His feet is his only carriage. Mm. But he's got to push on through with sore feet, walking. And going to 36 towns is preparing. They must prepare you the way of the Lord. The harvest is great, but the workers are few. So pray to the Lord who is in charge of the harvest. Ask him to send more workers into his fields. Now go and remember that I am sending you out as lambs among the wolves. Don't take any money with you nor a travelling bag, nor an extra pair of sandals, and don't stop to greet anyone on the road. Whenever you enter someone's house, first say, May God's peace be on this house. If those who live there are peaceful, the blessing will stand. If they were not, blessing will return to you. Don't move around from house to house. Stay in one place, eating and drinking what they provide. Don't hesitate to accept hospitality because those who don't deserve their pay. If you enter a town and it... Can you read that sentence you, again? Or don't about hospitality. Um, stay in one place, eating and drinking what they provide. Don't hesitate to accept their hospitality, because those who work deserve their pay. Yes. If you enter a town and it welcomes you, with whatever is said before you, heal the sick and tell them the kingdom of God is near you. But if a town refuses to welcome you, go out into its streets and say, We wipe even the dust off, our off from our feet. Hmm. We wipe even the dust off from our feet. So they're doing something very risky. The Lord commanded them mm. to go into the streets mm. of that dangerous town. But if the town doesn't welcome them... Yes, they must go out into the streets of the dangerous town and tell them and preach it out loud and say, we wipe off even the dust of this filthy town off from our feet. Feet to show that we have... Abandoned you to your to your fate, and know this: the kingdom of God is near. I assure you, even wicked Sodom will be better off than such a town on Judgment Day. Pause. Doesn't this remind you even of the Jonah message mm. that he had to proclaim judgment mm. on a town? 
this town will also they must proclaim judgment and be so bold mm-hmm. to proclaim that's what I did last night mm-hmm. in the compound minutes to midnight mm-hmm. I went to proclaim judgment the message of Jonah the Lord commanded me and said mm-hmm. he said uh, this is what happened mm-hmm. the Lord said and who shall go for us mm-hmm. whom shall I send and who will go for us? Mm. Then I said, Here I am, Lord, send me. Mm. Mm. What sorrow awaits you? Go, 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 Rogin, Corizon, Corizon, and Beth Shadel. For if the miracles I did in you had been done in the wicked Tyre and Sidon, their people would have represented of the sins long ago, clothing themselves in burlap and throwing ashes on their heads to show their remorse. Yes, Tyre and Sidon will be better off on Judgment Day than you. Mm. And you people from Capernaum, Capernaum, Capernaum Will you be honored in heaven? No, you will go down to the place of the dead. Then Mm. he said to his disciples, Anyone who accepts your message is also accepting me, and anyone who rejects you is also rejecting me, and anyone who rejects me is rejecting God who sent me. When the 72 disciples returned, they joyfully reported to him, Lord, even the demons obey us when you use your name. Yes, he told them, I saw Satan fall from heaven. Like? Like lightning. Like lightning. Look, I have given you authority over all the power of the enemy, and you will walk among snakes and scorpions and crush them nothing will injure you but don't rejoice because evil evil sir what is this evil evil spirits obey you rejoice because your names were registered in heaven Jesus' prayer of thanksgiving. At that same time, Jesus was filled with the joy of the Holy Spirit and said, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, thank you for hiding these things from those who who think themselves wise and clever and for for revealing them to to the childlike, yes, Father, it pleased you to do this in this way. My father was in, entrusted everything to me. No one truly known the son except the father, and no one truly knows the father except except the son, and those to whom the son chooses to reveal. Then when they were alone, he turned to his disciples and said, Blessed are the eyes that see what you have seen. I tell you, many prophets and kings longed to see what you see, but they didn't see it, and they longed to hear what you hear, but they didn't hear it. Amen. Amen. Mm. It's powerful. This is the word of the Lord. Mm. Teaching about prayer. When once Jesus was in a certain place praying, as he finished, one of his disciples came to him and said, Lord, teach us to pray, just as John taught his disciples. And then Jesus said, This is how you should pray. Father, may your name be kept holy. May your kingdom come soon. Give us each day the food we need and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us 
and don't let us yield to temptation. Amen. That's it. Powerful, eh? When uh, teaching them more about prayer, he used this story. Suppose you went to a friend's house at midnight wanting to borrow three loaves of bread. You say to him, A friend of mine has just arrived for a visit and I have nothing to give him to eat. And suppose he calls us... This out. Asif Islam. Hmm? Asha, Isha. Asif Islam. Hmm. And suppose he calls out from his bedroom... Don't bother me. The door is locked for the night and my family and I are in bed. I can't help you. But I tell you this. No, you won't do it for friendship's sake. If you keep knocking long enough, you will get up and give you whatever you need because of your shameless persistence. And so I tell you, keep on asking and you will receive Keep on seeking and you will find. Keep on knocking and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives. Everyone who seeks finds. And everyone who knocks the door will be opened. Your fathers, if your children ask for a fish, do you give them a snake instead? Or if they ask you for an egg, do you give them a scorpion? Of course not. <laughs> if, so if you sinful people know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Heavenly Father give you the Holy Spirit to those who ask Him? One day Jesus cast out a demon from a man who couldn't speak. And when the demon was gone, the man began to speak. The crowds were amazed, but some of them said, No wonder he can't cast out demons. He gets his power from Satan, the prince of demons. Now Others see. trying to test Jesus demanded that he show them a miraculous sign from heaven. Now see, before that, his authority. they thought and Satan is called the prince of demons hmm. because he's only a prince. He's not the most powerful character mm. in the Bible. He's the craftiest one, yes. The cleverest one, yes. Most beautiful one of the created, yes. However, he ain't the strongest created. No, there's a stronger king in the dark realm. Mm. He's prince of the demons. Mm. And he fell like lightning. Mm -hmm. Others trying to test Jesus demanded that he show them a miraculous sign from heaven to prove his authority. He knew their thoughts, so he said, Any kingdom divided by civil war is doomed. A family splintered by feuding will fall apart. And you say I am empowered by Satan. But if Satan is divided and fighting against himself, how can his kingdom survive? And if I am empowered by Satan, what about your own exorcists? They cast out demons too, so they will condemn you for what you have said. But if I am casting out demons by the power of God, then the kingdom of God has arrived among you. For when a strong man like Satan is fully armed and guards his palace, his, his uh, possessions are safe until someone even stronger uh, attacks and overpowers him, strips him of his weapons and carries him off his belongings. Anyone who isn't with me opposes me and anyone who isn't working with me is actually working against me. When an evil spirit leaves a person it goes into the desert searching for rest. 
but when it finds none, it says, I will return to the person I come from. So it returns and finds that its former home is all swept and in order. And when the spirit finds seven other spirits, even more evil than itself, and they will enter the person and live there. And so that person is worse off than before. And as he was speaking, a woman in the crowd called out, God, bless your mother, the womb from which you came, and the breast that nursed you. And Jesus replied, But even more blessed are all who hear the word of God and put it into practice. Now can I ask a question? Mm -hmm. Why in the Catholic Church they magnify Mary when even Jesus' own mouth said, But more blessed mm. are you who hears God's word. Mm. More blessed than Mary. Did they cut it out of the Bible? Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah. No, they must have. Mm. I think they deleted it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now can I show you a miracle from heaven? Mm -hmm. It's the thing here that you took out. Mm -hmm. I was talking in the gospel with another man who carried the cross for his son-in-law opposite the Baptist church. There's a garden there. Mm -hmm. They planted it in honor of that guy that died. I opened to the Psalms. This fell to the ground. He picked it up and put it in his pocket, thinking I'm not seeing, because I'm busy reading. Because he maybe needed that encouragement. He saw this thing, footprints, and he thought, I, I need that. This is what you gave me. Uh, mm -hmm. Can you read it? The 23rd of August, when 18 times of love and praise your mom for life. Uh. Now, in 2018, a few months after you wrote this, mm. I went through the worst time of my life. Mm. But that's not the miracle. The miracle is, how come the same bookmark, footprints, how come did it come back into this Bible where it was supposed to be when that man took it. Mm. This one with your hand writing. Uh, the same one. This very one that he took. When I took you out, they took clean whatever, yes. clean Wurstenberg. Mm. I took my Bible and I opened it in the car and I found it there. Mm. And I was shocked. Do you remember that? Mm -mm. And I couldn't have an explanation of how it could have ended back into my Bible by itself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Miracles happen, eh? That is a miracle from heaven. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Another miracle. Mm -hmm. You were watching ministry number one in the compound. Mm -hmm. Daddy had this Bible of mine. Fine print. You need spectacles, reading glasses to wear it, mm. prescription. And you could read. He couldn't, he opened, he said, I can't read this. Mm. I said to him, just pray for all guys. But I, <laughs> he probably didn't think I'm making jokes. All I said is just, I have walk eyes. They opened it, they read. Mm -hmm. without spectacles that's a miracle from mm -hmm. heaven mm -hmm. the miracle still happened today it never ceases it's still the same word yesterday, today and forever but there are some people that even sit and I will even say in the Baptist church because I'm not talking a lot of churches but I'm mentioning now in not one Baptist church in Baptist churches who do not believe miracles still happen today because they say it ceased once the apostles died and when the Bible was completed, mm. then miracles stopped. 
So they don't really believe in all this of paying for healing and stuff. They will do it just to show, but they don't have the heart in it. They don't believe in it. That's why all the prayers are powerless. Did you ever ask yourself why they must pray for Vernon Colorus and so many times and nothing happens? Mm-hmm. Did you ask yourself that? They became even so tired of praying for him. Mm-hmm. So they mustn't give up. They were praying for the sick this morning also. So they must continue to put it into But prayer. when you pray, you must not doubt. Mm-hmm. That's what the Word of God mm-hmm. said. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. When you doubt, it's like you about don't have no more anchor. You get tossed aside to and fro by the waves. Mm-hmm. Must believe when you call on his name. Again, it's in colorful that book. Eh? Mm. Mm. You cannot put that bookmark anywhere you want to. Mm-hmm. Anything you want to comment on uh, what was being read? Mm-hmm. You tied now. Mm-hmm. No, it's true. The Bible, reading the Bible, tires a person out because it's full of heavy things. The brain goes is working overtime when you read the Bible. Mm. It's just it's, it's just full of wisdom from the Lord and um, what God says is so true. <coughs> Mm, just like you, just like you, just like you. Mm. Now come and tell you, you need to have more endurance now, because it's my turn mm. to say one, two, three, Django. Mm. You didn't expect we're going to be doing Bible tonight. Eh? No, it can come any time. We must be ready at all times. You know? I, I was supposed to be doing steps outside trying to get to 30k mm-hmm. and I said to myself I don't care about 30k mm-hmm. now the demons made me angry so I I, ch- I told them a lot of stuff to make sure that they s- be so scared mm-hmm. now I'm going to read mm-hmm. and I like Old Testament style I'm going, my finger is on the Old Testament. Mm. One, two, three, Changis. That is New Testament, eh? Old Testament. <laughs> but open nearby this picture. Oh, uh. <laughs> Okay. I didn't want to open on this picture, but okay. It's five. Mm. It's about love between young man and young woman. So what I'm going to do is, this is not meant for our reading, I'm going to give Shalu the text and I say, read. The footprints fell out, so I'm gonna put it in anyway. The Solomon is the culture of six of love. Song of songs, yeah. Mm. And some people interpret it even to point of pointing to Christ. Mm. Okay, now I want to open it to you. I don't want it to be on way photos or bookmarks or mm. it's cheating. One, two, 
two, three. No, no, no. One, two, three. Yes, my finger in. We shall be reading from Hosea. Just a short chapter four. The Lord's case against Israel. Hear the word of the Lord, O people of Israel. The Lord has brought charges against you, saying, There is no faithfulness, no kindness, no knowledge of God in your land. Mm. No knowledge of God. There is no faithfulness, mm. no kindness, and no knowledge of God in your land. Mm. That's just the beginning. You make vows and break them. You kill and steal and commit adultery. There is violence everywhere, one murder after another. I'm just not done reading why. That is, that is South Africa. That is this country. There's a case that God has against this country. And this country made a case against Israel. But meanwhile, God has a case against this country. And I announced it already a long time. And I'm continually being announcing it. Look, and I've painted it also. Bloodshed in South Africa. It's mean that there's Christians in this country that's praying. Take the Christians out, then it will become like it. But while we are still here, we are praying. And what does prayer do? Remove the hand of God. So there ain't enough true Christians. So it's all keeping it the parents here. Because don't count how many churches there are no. buildings. Don't and don't count how many people sit in there on a Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. Because not even 10% of them are true Christians. That's the truth. But to me, I, I always have in my mind that God could have called 10,000 angels to destroy the world or to, you know, but because of His love that He still kept us. So the sun shines on the righteous and on the unjust, you know? Yeah. So, so God is a God of mercy, He's a God of love, He's a God of compassion. And is Al Gibor, that's His other name. Mm. So he, what does Al Gibor mean? The God of war. Mm. So, so, um, so God, God still loves us, you know, no matter what. God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. How? Mm. Yeah, because of through the, fire and brimstone. Mm. Because of how they, you know, rebelled and didn't want to come to the knowledge of Jesus. You know, they didn't want to come to repentance and lead to. So that God is faithful. Mm -hmm. God is a God of justice, righteousness, mm -hmm. holiness. Mm -hmm. And nothing must go against that. Mm -hmm. When God sees evil, it shall be taken vengeance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He says, vengeance is mine. I will repay. Mm -hmm. And we will say, mark my word. You can say in his promises now. What he says, will come to fruition. Mm -hmm. You can say there's many Christians in this country. But then why is the country still going down and down and down? And murder is going up and up and up. And all other kind of crimes is going up. The police is useless. But just imagine there wasn't Christians going to the thing so worse, to the thing worse and those figures that are, you know, they're going up from there. No, the Christians can't even stand up against the government. This government is so corrupt. They can't even band all together and say, let us march and protest. They're so weak. So I don't see so many Christians in this country. I don't. But today when we went to Newland, 
in this legislating the workers fair pay. Mm-hmm. I was there with Michael W. Smith. No, 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 it was him. It was Michael W. Smith, yeah. Yes, he was there. We even there at the, um, the guy, what is his name? The guy, now from Grand Grand Power. He was initiated there. The order of three humans. But how many of the people pray? And have no doubt in their mind that when they're praying, they're praying to God the Father. Mm. Or were they praying to Jesus? They were giving praise to the Trinity, to God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. So to whom did they pray? They prayed to Jesus. To God and I only ask because Jesus taught us how to pray. He said, You say, Our Father. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's how He prayed. Mm-hmm. Our Father, Lord, Creator of heaven and earth. Mm-hmm. And He told His disciples also, Whatever you ask, my Father. In my name, that I will do for you. Mm-hmm. So it means you must ask the Father mm-hmm. and use the name of Jesus. Mm-hmm. That's the formula. Mm-hmm. That's the equation. That's the theory of everything. Mm-hmm. Now I have to um, call in the name of the Lord, my Father, my Father, and I let you be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done, and thy will be done. It was the same. As I felt, I knew in the Catholic uh, funeral, they're going to cut that prayer a bit short at the end. Oh. I was expecting, I know it, I've been to Catholic funerals already. Mm-hmm. So I said to myself, no, I'm going to pray the full one, full version. Mm-hmm. Then Daddy wasn't too happy with that. <laughs> I don't worry if who I upset. As long as God tell me what to do, I do it. It can offend people. I'm, I am an offense to people. I don't do what people say I don't even look that way I don't care what the people say because I'm going to have it all see mm-hmm. I'm going to have it all mm-hmm. yeah they only say to a certain the, not to the end Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. they skip this for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen mm-hmm. Why can't you just add that simple lines? Mm-hmm. Are you in a rush to get home or what? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's nice to say all that. You know, the there are too many churches and too many people that attend church but it's just a religious hypocrisy. That's why there's judgment in this land. The Christians are fake. I don't even know if there's 10% of people that call themselves Christian are truly. That's why the Bible says, Jesus speaks it. Many of you will come and say, Lord, Lord, we did this and that and that and all these things. In your name. And Jesus said, but I didn't know, I don't know you. Who are you? Move. I don't know you. You can't come this way. Mm. Go. Go away. Mm. <laughs> but Lord, we did we went to church every Sunday. I don't know you. Mm. 
Tons of people going to hear that word. Mm. Even at the very end, when Jesus reigns in his millennial kingdom, mm. ruler of the earth, from Jerusalem, ruling the whole earth, at the end when Satan comes out from his chains of 1,000 years being locked up by Abaddon, he's going to be so angry. He's going to rally around the whole world and deceive them with his craftiness. And he's going to say, let's fight against Jesus. And they will say, yes, let's fight him. Mm. The whole world mm. against Israel. Mm. Yeah, mm. that's going to be the battle. Mm. Final battle of the universe. Third battle. And then with him is going to come the king, Leviathan. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. He's going to rally around the whole world to turn their backs and to fight Israel alone. Mm. Israel is going to stand man alone against the whole wide world. Mm. Is that fair fight? Mm -mm. That is why fire is going to fall from heaven mm. and destroy everyone. Yeah. You see that the, the last days it can either end in water or fire. It will be fire. Mm -hmm. Fire gonna fall down from heaven mm -hmm. and destroy them all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we must be ready eh, for that. Um, yes. Welcome to the days of Noah. But it's been a fire as busy today. I'm saying to you already, and I wrote that song. Mm. Welcome to the days of Noah. Mm. Welcome to the days of Noah, where the Lord is my strength and my very strong tower. To Him I will run to when it's shelling on me from the skies up above. O oh, Jerusalem, will you be carried away? Will you crumble and fall or become like a stone in the wasteland? But as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be at the coming of the Christ with the rumors of war. Two women in the field grinding, but one is taken. Two men in the field, one is taken, but the others have been left behind. Mm. <laughs>
Oh, it works. Yeah, while he was putting money. Oh, yeah. You saw it. I remember you saw it. Yeah.
Vamos lá todo mundo para a porta. Uma hora lá.
What is it called?
Ich sehe Leute in die Spanne. So right in the
Let me go mark this somewhere. Mark this somewhere, yeah. Let me turn my guess up. I think you like it over. Let me turn my guess up. Let me turn my guess up. Wait, come to see what you want.
Kakaman, putiman.
Black up. Black dog. One Black time shotgun. Yes, sir. Give me a friend. Okay, yeah. You're good? Walking with us, man. Always good. Nah, I hurt you with us, man. Oh, you're good. Why don't you give me a round? How long is you? Go ahead, boy. You were the hot egg. Yeah. I was walking all day with this bag. Yeah, you did too. Break your boot, break your leg. Shove gears down yeah. to neutral. Ah. Uh, oh, we can't see it. Oh, my God. We can't put it in the back. Mm. You can see it. Put it in the back. Put it in the back. Yeah. I was racing with a coaster. We had a lot of uphills to do. Like this coaster. Now at the moment, now like you, like what I see you've been doing that for more than a month. But I saw you for the bag for more than a month. That's coaster. Hmm. How are you going? The move. Okay. Fun stuff. How are you? This is the most wonderful thing. How are you? Bye, bro. That's what I said. I'm going to go. 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 How much do you want to give me? Hold on. My drink. How much do you want to give me? He's 20, all right? My friend. One pack of season pop and a lighter. You're crazy. No more than me. You're crazy. 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 Then can you charge an extra 20 rand and you give me cash 20? Huh? Yeah. Put on an extra 20. Salute. Shop, shop. Hey, salut, bro. Hey, dit lukt. Nee. Kijk maar daar van die aarde. Daar is voor die mensen geboren. Ja, maar dat is wel uit. Ik kom veel te zien, man. Kijk, bro. We always. Dat voor. Ik voor kies voor die andere dag, man. Te spelen. Maar als je die naai wil, dan weet je wat. Ik zie dat je ze oud lukt. Scots Dean. No, you can't just go to my field. Yo, they're very well as well. I'm going to go to the next one. 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 Look, family to you. It's a family club. Okay. And over stand. And the family club. And over stand. It's a family club. It's a family club. No, sir. It's a generation. It's a generation. It's a family club. It's always going to be better. Ah, on a long term. Now we're going to go to the house and it's still this day. Green you. Nice. Good day. And still play. The train is here. We're going to go to the house. We're going to go to the house. We're going to go to the house. Give me one year. I'll practice for one year. Don't let me play a match yet. Okay, yeah. I can see that focus in the room. Because you do this bag every day. Can you do it? Wait for your little. In here is the wait for the two. I put it in here. Yeah, it's just that I'm going to check here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Right. 
My next level is to just go over the Hallo, 
My phone went up to heaven, but I don't care, I know it was taken, but I forgive you. I know you also need food and food and food and drugs. I said I forgive you. My bro, I can't see like any boy. Nah, my bro, I can't see like that. 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 I can't see like Nooit van mensen wat voor donderen gaan van je groeien. Donderen gaan van je tien. Die gaan er niet eens te tien en tien. Nee, maar dat is maar een beetje te tien. Daar is je vier, die gaat nou vroeg. Nee, dat is nou. 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 Nee, dat is Ik 
Stay close, Owens. See you, Stevie. Oh, yeah. It was a good journey. Yeah. Mountaineering. Yeah.